Hello guys and welcome. So in this video I wanted to give my advice about returning to World of Warcraft. So let's say you've been away for a while like myself and you want to return to the game. Hopefully this video will give you some very quick hints about how to get up to speed quickly. Thank you for watching the video so far. Remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and ring the bell to help with the YouTube algorithm. Now back to the video. So let me give you a quick introduction into who I am. I am a full-time content creator. I am very quite well known in the Final Fantasy XIV community. Some, well, many people saying that I make some of the best tutorial guides for Final Fantasy XIV, uh, especially with regards to crafting. But I've been taking a hiatus from Final Fantasy XIV. Before Final Fantasy XIV, I was playing WoW. Simple as that. I played WoW for eight years, from Classic until Mr. Pandaria. And I did return for a short time to play Warlords of Draenor and also Legion as well. I have not touched BFA, so um, like returning to BFA is going to be my next challenge. So I was very sad to learn about Wreckful. Rest in peace, Wreckful. Um, I used to watch his PvP videos a long, long time ago. And when um, himself and Soda Popper went to Japan, I thought it was some of the best content on Twitch ever, literally. So, and I did check out the memorial that they did in World of Warcraft on Asmongold's stream. Um, it was very moving. As a former WoW player, I had to show my solidarity and I also subscribed to Asmongold because of the charity drive he's now doing towards suicide prevention in Wreckful's name. So um, I stand with you Horde, I stand with you WoW players. But I digress, let's now get into the content of the video, which is a returning player's guide for World of Warcraft. So the first thing I recommend is to make sure that your add-ons are up to date. If you have the Twitch app installed, which is linked in the description to download it, click on mods, go to World of Warcraft, hopefully it will detect your add-ons, um, you can get more and so on, and click on here, update all, and it will make sure that they're up to date for you, because running out of date add-ons can lead to a lot of performance issues in the game, so make sure that everything is up to date. This is not a video about which add-ons to use, there are plenty of other videos that recommend them, but if you were running add-ons that you were happy about before, make sure they're up to date. Okay, so the next step is to obviously reactivate your account. One option you do have, not so you don't have to necessarily pay with money to re reactivate, you might be able to repay with gold. Right? So if you have hundreds of thousands of spare gold, you want to try the game for a month, then you can go in that way. So for example, um, this account, I've got a few characters. So if I click um, enter world, it will say that you must have an active subscription to play a character above level 20. Um, you can reactivate now for just 170,000 gold. Um, this price is determined by the price of WoW tokens. So the way WoW tokens work is um, they are a fixed price. I think in the UK they're like 17 bucks. And the price of gold is determined of simply supply and demand. The more that are available for sale on the auction house, the cheaper that this price will be and vice versa. So the less there is, the more this price will be. So this is a way to quickly get gold if you need it. You can buy a wild token, sell it in the market on the auction house and get some gold. So um, you can activate 30 days that way if you have enough gold spare. Okay, so in my case, I don't have enough gold. So I can click on reactivate now. And it will load up the website for you with the price per month, as you can see here. Um, and obviously with these sort of games, the more you buy in advance, the cheaper the discounts will be. Okay, so one thing that you might discover when you first log in as a returning player after a long time away is that the mount's sensitivity is way, way too high. Like, it might even freak you out a little bit, like it did for me. So what I recommend you do is you set up the following macro. So type forward slash macro. So open it up. Um, and then add the following macro. 
Okay, so click it each time you log in, and then the mouse sensitivity is way more under control. Then go about customizing your UI the way that you remember. One thing you might find as well um, is that you're completely out of date with everything. So I'm completely out of date even with my Legion professions, with my quest list. I've got a lot of quests on here which have nothing to do with anything, and my reputations are gone and so on. Uh, one thing that might uh, put you off as well is you might have a situation where you can't see your EXP bar. You're wondering where it's gone. So what you need to do, you need to make sure that none of the reputations, this bottom bar, is covering over the EXP bar. So as you can see, I set it to High uh, Mountain Tribe. If you just click that off, then the EXP bar will show again. Now, what you can do, you can press L and it will load up the map and quest log and it will tell you what you need to do to carry on the main story of the game. So it says continue the campaign by accessing the quest, the uh, Kull Terras campaign in Zoldazar. So here I have here Zoldazar and so on. Now, uh, one thing that I will say to you as well is let's say the level cap is 120. Okay, it means in the previous expansion, it started f to from level 110. So you can do any content from the previous expansions up until one level into the new expansion. So in my case, I could go back and do Legion content up until level 111. Then it will face some very severe experience point nerfs. But the first level you can get even by doing old content. So that's what I was doing last night. I was trying to clear up as many of these quests as possible. And what I would recommend as well for content which is just really old, then just literally just abandon the quest. So this is a dungeon quest for old content. We'll abandon it right now. So abandon. You click on it. Click abandon. Yes, it's gone. So. I would say I would recommend to focus more on the new content and so on. Next thing will be will be to set up your talent points. So it, the game will probably give you in-game reminders that your talent points have been reset. So go through it, read through each one, what works best for you. There's also PvP talents now, so you can select which ones are best for you. Again, this is not a guide about what is best to select. Simply, I just selected whichever ones. I feel are good and then over time I will refine it. The next thing to check is your gear. So once you're happy with the gear you're wearing, if you know that this is the best gear that you can wear, then click on here, Equipment Manager, make sure you save your set, your latest set. So like my set was completely out of date um, and I updated this set to be the latest one because simply I'm a Paladin tank. And what you can also do, you can click these arrows so you can see what other items are in your inventory so you can make sure that you're equipping the best one. Okay, so my next advice is also to equip heirloom gear if you are leveling up. So what heirloom gear is, it's gear which scales while you're leveling up that also gives you EXP bonuses. So you can click on here, Collections, or Shift P by default. Click on the heirlooms tab at the bottom, and then you have the heirloom library that you might have uh, upgraded before. If you don't have any, uh, then you need to buy them along the way. So you can see here that I've got some heirloom gear. However, some of them are limited to level 100, but the level cap at the moment is level 120. So what you can do is you can come to uh, this vendor. What is it? It's, she's called um, Estelle Gendry in Undercity. She is located right here. Um, she's also available in Orgrimmar. So Estelle is also available in Orgrimmar after the Battle for Lord Ron battle happens um, in the BFA expansion. Um, right here at the sort of upper part of Orgrimmar. So you can see where we are. So that's Orgrimmar. You have to come up here. And you can talk to Estelle. Now, the equivalent one for the Alliance is called uh, Grom Stoat Arm, who is available in the Library of Ironforge. 
is a ginger bearded dwarf. Now, what you can do with the heirloom gear, let's say I want to upgrade my heirloom gear, because my heirloom gear at the moment is limited to level 100, okay? And the level cap is currently 120. I can look at the gear that she has available. So as you can see, um, this will upgrade the heirloom armor, trinket, or shield, or offhand to 110, but only works if they are already at level 100. And you go from there. So you start from... Um, you buy the original set, which gets you up to level uh, 90. Then it will power it up to level 100. And then you can power up again to 110. And you can power up again to 120. Okay. So as you see, we right-click it. And then it's brightened up which ones we can actually upgrade. So I'm going to upgrade this one. So yes, you will have to spend 2,000 gold a pop to do all the upgrades to 110. And then you will need to do the same again to get them to 120. And the good news is as well is that heirloom gear is account bound. So any class or character that I use in the future, I can then get any heirloom that I've unlocked um, to up upgrade it and so on. And will give me XP bonus from level 1 to 120. I'm sure when Shadowland comes out, there will also be upgrades available to 130. But that will probably come later. I doubt it will be at the beginning of Shadowlands. Uh, so people don't have an unfair advantage. But probably later they'll add it in to help people to catch up. Alright, so once you've done all the upgrades you want to do from the vendor. Go again to Collections. Go to Heirlooms. And then with each one that you want to equip or have in your inventory, just right click it and it will create it and it will throw it into your bags for you to equip. So as you can see, now happening. Done. Right. So as I said, they will give you a good EXP bonus as well as scale with your level. So it will level up and scale up depending on what level you are. And you can have them for any future character that they might be useful for. Okay, so as you can see, I've now uh, got all my heirlooms equipped. So what I'm going to do, again, go to Equipment Manager. And I'm simply going to save the set. So while I'm leveling up, this is a gear set I'm going to be relying upon. Now, let's say you're not happy with the way your gear looks. Okay, this looks like the Molten Core gear. You can transmog. And then you can come to the transmogifier, which is this guy. So let's right click. And I want to transmogify my gear. But let's say at any time I want to find the judgment set from like Blackwing Layer. Okay. Um, I can just type in the search judge and it will find it for me, assuming that I've got it unlocked. So done. And then um, what I would recommend next is to look at the exploration achievements. So if you go to here, exploration, click on incomplete, then you will be able to see which areas you've actually unlocked flying for. Like being able to fly in all the zones is really, really useful. So you can see that as a returning player, I've done everything up until Cataclysm. I sort of stopped playing around sort of late Pandaria and I barely touched Draenor and Legion. So, uh, for example, if I want to unlock Broken Isles Flying, which is the Legion area, I need to finish these achievements, which I'm working on at the moment. So having Flying unlocked in all the zones is a great thing, especially before uh, Shadowlands hits, because you just want the freedom to be able to explore um, everywhere that you go. Then make sure you have someone to play with. MMOs are best enjoyed by playing with other players. So if you can... Find a group, find a guild uh, to play the game with. Try and link again with old friends. If you have to even move server, like, uh, do not be scared. It's better to play MMOs with other players than it is to play on your own. Okay, so last but not least, um, simply just grind and get ready for the next expansion. 
We have Shadowlands coming in the next few months. Um, you can pre-order it with the in-game shop. We have different versions, or you can buy a physical edition, whatever your preference is. Um, also, as well, decide how you're going to actually pay for your subscription. If you have millions of spare gold, then simply just um, buy WoW tokens from the auction house and pay for your subscription that way. If you're strapped for cash, then subs resubscribe manually. Do not buy tokens to resubscribe because you'll end up paying double the price um, than if you do it manually. So the idea of buying WoW tokens really, to be honest, is a way to make gold. If you want to actually sub, then sub, like sub directly. You buy WoW tokens if you want to sell them to get lots of gold. You do not really buy them to subscribe. So don't, don't get that confused. It's basically like an in-game way to buy gold. Okay, with all of that done, I am now ready to return to World of Warcraft, level up, and hopefully get ready in time for the Shadowlands expansion. So anyway, guys, uh, that is my advice for a returning WoW player who has been away from the game for a very long time uh, to help you get up to speed. Like I'm going to check out Shadowlands. I am somewhat excited for it based on the trailer and what I've been seeing on Asmongold's stream as well. And uh, we'll see what it what happens to it. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. You can watch around the video over there. You can watch the latest upload down there. Or you can click down here to subscribe. Thank you guys. Bye bye.